Hello everyone, today we're going to compare Dalibar, Udo, and ERP Next, three popular ERP and business management system. So Dalibar is an open source ERP and CRM solution designed for small and medium sized businesses, offering a wide range of features for managing finances, sales, and inventory in a user friendly interface. While Udo is a comprehensive size of businesses application including ERP CRM and e-commerce with extensive customization options and a modular approach for businesses of all sizes. And lastly, for ERP Next, it is an open source ERP system also focused on simplicity and flexibility, offering modules for accounting, inventory, manufacturing, and more, aimed at enhancing efficiency for various industries. So in this comparison, we'll dive deep into their features, pricing, performance, customer support, pros and cons, and at the end of the video, I help you choose which one is the best for you. So make sure you watch till the end because I have created a presentation that will help you easily make an informed decision to choose the correct option. And if you want to sign up for Dollybar, Udo, and ERPNX, you can use my affiliate links in the description below where I will earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And you might also get rewards and discounts upon signing up. So without any further ado, let's get started. So now let's go directly to the features comparison. So when we talk about modules, Dollybars offers modular setup for CRM, sales and accounting, HR, etc. Well, Udo have extensive modules covering all business function such as sales, inventory, project management, and HR. While ERPNX have an open source ERP with a with an extensive modules for manufacturing, accounting, HR, and etc. So when we talk about customization, Dollybar offers moderate customization and it requires technical skills while Udo is highly customizable, offers application and APIs for deep integration which requires more technical skill. While ERP Next, they have a full customization via prop framework and they have a strong developer support. When we talk about user interface, Dollybar is a simple and functional but less polished. Udo is modern and highly polished interface. And ERP Next have clean UI with focus on simplicity. When we talk about third-party integration, Dollybar have, is very limited but they support popular integration via plugins. And for Udo, they have extensive third-party app marketplace and integration. And last for ERP Next, they support many integration though fewer than Udo. When we talk about inventory management, Dollybar have basic features for small, medium businesses. Udo, they offer advanced inventory with multi-location support and serial numbers. Lastly, ERP Next, they have advanced inventory including warehouse management and manufacturing. When we talk about accounting, Dollybar have basic accounting function but manual features. Udo, they have advanced accounting features, automated features, and multi-currency support. While ERP Next, they have a strong accounting system with built-in analytics and reporting. When we talk about manufacturing module, Dollybar is also basic but suitable for more for more small manufacturers. For Udo, they have very robust MRP module which is highly customizable. And lastly, ERP Next, they have comprehensive manufacturing uh, module and they have a built for scalability. And lastly, for mobile support, Dollybar have web based with mobile friendly interface. Udo have fully supported mobile apps for iOS and Android. And ERP Next, they are web based and they have responsive design with some mobile app support. So that's it for the simple features comparison. So now let's go directly to the pricing. So when we talk about free version, so all platforms have their own uh, free version with uh, different kinds of features. When we talk about cloud hosting, so there we need to pay. So Dollybar, they have a paid cloud hosting available from partners. So it depends on their partners uh, for what is the cost of their cloud hosting. When we talk about Udo, they are free actually for one app. Then they charge per additional app and users. And it's starting at $7.25 user per month for standard account to $10.9 per user per month customizable so when you talk about a ERP ERP next so they are they have also free self hosting in their app but you need to pay a cloud hosting starting at $50 user per month which is quite mm, expensive 
So when we talk about the uh, customization cost, Dollybar have moderate is very moderate for basic setups and higher for advanced features. When we talk about Udo, they have actually have higher customization cost due to its complexity. And for ERP Next, lower overall, but it depends on the scope actually. And lastly, for maintenance and updates, Dollybar have free updates in open source versions. Udo have free updates in community edition, charge for enterprise. While ERP Next, they have free updates in open source version with optional paid support. So yes, that's it for the pricing comparison. So now we're done with this. Now let's go directly to the performance. So when we talk about speed and responsiveness, Dollybar is very fast and lightweight, but less polished uh, user interface. When we talk about Udo, they are, they are also responsive, but can slow down with complex setups. While ERP Next, they are fast, efficient, but the performance depends on the server specs. When we, when we talk about scalability, Dollybar is suitable for small, medium businesses. Not ideal for large-scale enterprise, actually. Udo scales well for medium-large businesses thanks to modular design. And ERP Next is highly scalable, especially for manufacturing and service sectors. Lastly, for uh, resource uh, usage, Dollybar is lightweight, good for low-spec servers, while Udo, they have also resource-intensive due to the features, actually. And lastly, for ERP Next, they, have, they are moderate and it, it performs well on most server configuration. When we talk about the handles moderate data efficiency or uh, efficiently, uh, Dollybar uh, is very excellent for large data sets with proper optimization. Udo can also handle large data sets, especially with strong backend support. And ERP Next, it, they handle uh, moderate data efficiently. So yes, that's it for the performance comparison. So now let's go directly to the customer support. When we talk about community support, so Dollybar have active uh, open source community and forums. Same thing with Udo, but they have more emphasis on the paid support actually. So ERP Next, they have also strong open source community support and active forums. So when we talk about the paid support, as I said earlier, Dollybar, they are available by a partner. So you need to go to their partners and see their uh, paid support uh, function there. And when we talk about Udo, the paid support available for enterprise users only, while ERP Next, the paid support available via ERP Next partners. So yes, that's it. So lastly, for documentation, Dollybar have extensive online documentation. Udo have comprehensive documentation for both community and enterprise version. Lastly, for ERP Next, they have detailed documentation including tutorials and developer guides. So that's it for the customer support. So now we're done with the features. Pricing, performance, customer and support comparison. Now let's go directly to the pros and cons. So let's talk about the Dollybar pros and cons. So when we talk about the pros, Dollybar is a free and open source, great for small to medium businesses. They have a modular design that allows you to install only the features you need. They are very, very lightweight and fast with a simple interface suitable for basic users. So when we talk about the cons, Dollybar have limited third-party integration compared to competitors. They lack advanced features for large enterprises like complex inventory management. Their customization can be challenging and often requires external help. So yes, that's it for the Dollybar pros and cons. When we talk about the Udo pros and cons, so when, when we talk about pros, Udo is very highly modular, allowing businesses to start small and scale up with additional features. They have extensive third-party integration options in App Marketplace. And also, they, are, they polish user interface and robust performance, and even for large enterprises. That's it for the pros. When it comes to cons, Udo can become expensive as more apps and users are added. And the customization can be complex, requiring dedicated technical resources. And the community edition lacks sub-advanced features and available only in the enterprise, enterprise version. So that's it for the pros and cons of Udo. Now let's go directly to the ERP Next pros and cons. When we talk about pros, ERP Next have comprehensive features, especially for manufacturing and project management. They have free and open source with low cost cloud hosting options. And lastly, they have strong community support and highly customizable with prop framework. So yes, that's it for the pros. And when it comes to cons, ERP Next user interface is less modern than Udo's. 
And also, the setup and customization can be complex, requiring technical expertise. And lastly, the fewer integration compared to Udo, they have fewer integration, though uh, they are improving over time. So that's it for the cons of PRP Next. So now we're done with the pros and cons. So now let's go directly to which platform is the best for you. And let's start that by discussing who should choose Dollybar. So Dollybar is referable for someone who runs a small to medium sized business with basic needs, someone who wants a lightweight open source ERP with fast performance, someone who are looking for cost effective solution with modular flexibility, and someone who needs an ERP without the complexity of larger system. So if you have all of this quality right here, Dollybar is the choice for you. For the people who should choose Udo, so Udo is referable for someone who needs highly scalable ERP with an extensive app ecosystem, someone who is willing to invest in comprehensive customizable solution, someone who are running a large business requiring multiple features, and someone who prefers a polished interface and premium support option. So if you have all of these qualities right here, Udo is the choice for you. Lastly, we should choose ERP Next. So ERP Next is referable for someone who are managing a manufacturing or service businesses uh, looking for deep features, someone who values open source software with strong community backing, someone who are seeking a free or low-cost ERP that supports customization, and someone who needs a scalable ERP for complex business processes. So if you have all of this quality, ERP Next is the choice for you. So that's it. So in, in summary, choosing between Dollybar, Udo, and ERP Next comes down to your business-specific needs, budgets, and scale. Dollybar is ideal for small to medium-sized business looking for a simple, cost-effective solution while Udo excels in scalability and features for medium to large businesses. If you're in manufacturing or want a fully open source options, ERP Next offers a comprehensive suit at a lower price. So make sure to assess your business size, the complexity of your operation, and your budget before deciding. And if you found this comparison helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more detailed business software reviews. And also let us know in the comments which ERP system you're leaning towards. So with that being said, the comparison is over and I hope this comparison helps you to choose the correct option. Also, that's it for today's video. See you in the next one.